Hello Angel. In the realm of the law of attraction, there exists a profound beauty in the process of manifesting desires. It's not merely about wishful thinking, it's a dance with the universe, a harmonious symphony between intention and reality. The journey of manifestation is an art, where thoughts and emotions blend into the canvas of existence, creating a masterpiece. Every thought is a brushstroke, every emotion a hue. Through the law of attraction, one becomes both the artist and the art. There is a sense of empowerment in realizing that one's thoughts and emotions are the guiding forces in shaping reality. As desires are released into the universe, they are met with an unwavering response, drawing them closer with each positive vibration. The beauty lies in the alignment, the moment when the universe echoes the frequency of one's desires. It's the feeling of connection, of being in sync with the rhythm of the cosmos. In this dance of manifestation, patience is the partner, and faith is the melody. Trusting in the process, surrendering to the flow, one witnesses the magic of creation unfolding before their very eyes. Through the law of attraction, the journey becomes as significant as the destination. It's about growth, self-discovery, and the realization of one's true potential. The beauty of manifestation is not merely in acquiring desires but in the transformation that occurs within. It's the journey of becoming, of evolving into the highest version of oneself. In the end, the beauty of manifestation lies not only in the fulfillment of desires but also in the profound understanding that the power to create one's reality resides within. Through the law of attraction, we discover that the universe is not just around us but within us, and in this realization, we find the most profound beauty of all. Benjamin Franklin stated that words have a magical power, and he was correct. Words possess a creative power, whether spoken aloud, written, or even thought consciously or unconsciously. The creative nature of words is not a new concept. The Old Testament, for example, relates to the story of the creation of the world, let there be light, said God, and there was light. The New Testament states, in the beginning was the Word. The universe, or whatever you call God, responds to your words. It hears your deepest desires in the words you utter and think, as well as in those you put on paper. It constantly discerns what you wish to create based on your words and assists you in manifesting those desires. Your words function like wands, no matter what you say or think, your words create what you want and what you don't want, depending on how you use them. Therefore, it is crucial to choose your words carefully. Every word choice has significant implications. For example, saying that you want or need something sends the message that you prefer to want or need, creating more desire and need, and consequently, more lack of what you desire. For this reason, avoid words like want or need as they keep you in a state of lack. They tell the universe that you don't have something and want to continue not having it. One of the reasons words are creative is because they emit energy that matches their meaning. The world is an energetic place, and the universe responds to energy. The energy behind wanting anything, more money, a new relationship, a better job, superb health, or anything else, is that of lack. Acknowledging that you don't have what you desire now, and the energy of that word, wanting, is communicated as a desire to remain in lack. I'm guilty of using, wanting, or, needing, too. A friend of mine pointed out the other day that I said, I want, three times. Of course, I was simply expressing a desire, 
but my choice of words block the manifestation of that desire. Pay attention to the words you're using in the language of your thoughts, speech, and written content. Each one attracts negative and positive things to you like magic. The wand creates based on the words you use. Describe how you have your desires. When my friend pointed out my use of wanting, I remembered to describe my desire as already manifested. Want or need don't do that, in fact, they describe the opposite. You can use words to create what you want, but to manifest that desire, choose ones that clearly affirm that you have or already enjoy everything you desire. Your words should indicate that you know the desire will arrive soon. For example, don't say, I want more money, or I need a new job. Instead, say, money comes to me easily, or the perfect job is manifesting for me now. The first example asserts that now you are someone who attracts money, it's a change of identity and a statement of having what you desire. It's crucial to understand that the materialization of your desire is close and requires a shift in perspective and belief, in addition to affirming that what you desire already exists in the present. To achieve this, it's essential to be clear about what you want, to speak and think about it as much as possible. Often, we are not clear about our desires, it's easier to identify what we don't want. Pay attention, and you'll notice that you constantly speak and think about what you don't want, which usually manifests itself in worry or complaint. Therefore, it's not surprising to end up manifesting the opposite of what you really want. What you focus on expands. Focus on what you want. For example, if your thoughts are centered on how much you dislike your spouse, dislike your job, or are unhappy with your weight, you create more of those circumstances. If you're not sure what you want, identify the opposite of what you don't want, that's your desire. Now, with clarity about what you want, you can neutralize it. You may not be aware that you're focused on what you don't want, but the words used in your thoughts are still creative. Thus, you unconsciously create more of what you don't want. To remedy this, observe the things you don't want in your life. Then, make a list of all the thoughts you have about them. Which of these thoughts do you have most often? This list increases your awareness of your negative thought patterns. With greater awareness, you may catch yourself thinking or saying this more quickly and shift your thoughts to what you desire. You've identified this previously. Just as in the exercise above, transform each thought from the list into one that clearly indicates what you want. Thus, with clarity of desire, you can consciously create that desire more easily. Use words as your magic wand to manifest your desires. Experiment with different word choices or synonyms for want or need. I brainstormed a list of seven other word or phrase options you can try. I enjoy, I relish, I cherish, and I delight in are powerful word choices because they are full of emotion. Emotions carry potent energy and, therefore, enhance the creative power of your words. Moreover, words charged with emotion send an unequivocal message to the universe. You could say, I enjoy my new job and or I delight in having money accumulated in my bank account. You can feel the emotion around these statements. I understand you might not yet have a new job to enjoy or perhaps don't have money in the bank to enjoy. Therefore, these affirmations might not seem true. However, the more you say these things, the more likely you are to create what you desire. 
I prefer to offer an effective option instead of wanting or needing because it's a statement of choice. Choice arises from clarity and, as a decision, it's a clear message of desire. A simple example could be, I prefer chocolate to vanilla ice cream, rather than, I want chocolate ice cream, not vanilla. I see myself having, and it's a visual cue. Thus, this word choice employs visualization, which has been proven to enhance creative ability. This option also puts, I, first, rather than the wanting. That's a powerful shift. An example of this usage could be, I see myself having money accumulating in my bank account, or I see myself having a new job. You could also say, I have, which places the manifestation of your desire in the present. It's done. For example, you can say, I have money accumulating in my bank account. This may not be true yet, but the more you say it, the more likely it is to become your reality. Additionally, this vocabulary allows you to visualize the manifestation now. It also allows you to feel gratitude for having it or knowing that it is coming to you. Gratitude is the most powerful prayer and emotion you can offer the universe when consciously creating with words. I am creating. Try saying, I am creating. In the end, you are a powerful creator. You create all the time with your words and energy, even when you're not trying. I am creating, speaks of the action of creation. You affirm that you are in the process of creating what you desire, like that new job or money accumulating in your bank account. I choose to have. I choose to have. I choose to create. These are effective alternatives because they indicate a clear choice. You have made a decision, and the universe understands. It is in your choices that your destiny is determined. So commit to these choices and watch more magic happen. I decide to have, along the same lines as the last option, I decide to have indicates choice, it is a clear statement of a decision made. Additionally, choose, decide, as well as find, are action words. Creation is an action. For example, you can say, I have decided that I now have money accumulating in my bank account, or I have decided to find a new job. Be someone who has what you desire. Last but not least, you can use your identity to express what you want. In this case, instead of saying, I want, say, I am someone who has, and link who you are being to having your desire. I know you don't believe you are that person now, but assuming the identity of having what you desire also creates powerful magic. When you are someone who already has what you desire, you move from where you are to where you want to be. As a result, you begin to do the things that create your desire. This includes thinking and talking about what you want as if you already have it. Because, with this identity, you have different ways of expressing your desires. If so, please share them in the comments section below and please share this video on social media or with your friends. Words, bridges between desire and reality, lead us beyond the realm of aspirations and into the realm of possibilities. As the ancient masters taught, in the beginning was the word, and it is with this conviction that we shape our existence. Once the intrinsic power of words is understood, the next step is to deliberately apply it in our journey of creation. By choosing the words we cast into the universe, we manifest a reality aligned with our deepest desires. Instead of saying, I want, I need, or I wish, which keep us in a sphere of lack, we will say, I choose to have. 
This simple change in language propels the mindset to a state of immediate possession. Desire becomes a reality in progress, not a distant aspiration. Therefore, from this moment on, I commit to using words wisely, recognizing their power of transformation. I state clearly, I choose to have. In doing so, I align my existence with the deepest desires of my heart. My reality is in a constant process of creation, shaped by the magic of the words I choose. Thus, in every thought, in every spoken or written word, I invoke the creative force of the verb. I am the master of my destiny, the architect of my universe. As I proclaim, so it becomes. My choice is clear, my reality, imminent. I choose to have. Do you want to manifest the reality of your dreams and activate your spiritual DNA? There is a science-based technique that works for you to manifest your desires. Click on the link pinned in the comments here of this video and start your journey of pure transformation today.